Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're talking about the Black Crows Kamex. Um, out of all the skis that Black Crows makes, this might be one of my personal favorites. Um, I really like the way that this ski takes some, some freestyle influence and kind of applies it to what's more of just a versatile all-mountain ski. So it's kind of blurring the gap between a park ski and just a directional all-mountain ski, um, which I think is awesome. And I think that's something that's actually really beneficial and really rewarding to a huge range of skiers, which we can kind of talk about towards the end of this video. Um, pretty simplistic build in this ski. So just a poplar wood core. There's some fiberglass in here too, epoxy, all that stuff that's normally in ski construction. Sandwich construction, um, we get full vertical sidewall right underfoot here, and then kind of a blend of cap construction, but still, still a little bit of that vertical sidewall through the rest of the ski. So that's kind of allowing the tips and tails to be a little bit looser, a little bit more forgiving, and, and keeping some strength right underfoot here. Um, I think it's enough of a twin tip to, to call it a twin tip, or enough tail rise, rather, to, to call it a twin tip. We've only got the single ski, but you can still just see the amount of rise back here in the tail. Um, you know, it is lower rise in, in the tail than the tip, but like I said, I think still enough to consider it a twin tip. But totally a directional shape too. You know, it's not like a symmetrical twin tip. It's not even close to symmetrical in the sense that like equal amounts of tip and tail rocker. There is more tip rocker in this ski than tail rocker. And also looking at the recommended mount point, you know, we're not, we're not close to true center on this ski. You could go a little further forward from that if you wanted to, but I would venture a guess that most people are sticking pretty close to the recommended line. So great ski, very versatile shape. Um, to take a look at weight, this is the 180.4 centimeter length and comes in just under 1900 grams. So, you know, pretty darn middle of the road. Um, and I think that's kind of a good way to think about the ski, even though I feel like most people would perceive that as a negative. To me, it just is a testament to its versatility. Um, you kind of see that in the flex pattern too. You know, it's not the stiffest ski in the world, but it's certainly stiffer than some like really soft flexing twin tips. So that's it, that's shape and construction. What's this ski best at? Um, if you like Black Crows as a brand, if you're shopping among their skis and you want to retain at least a little bit of park or kind of freestyle mentality, this is a really good ski. It definitely feels more like a freestyle ski or a playful ski than something like the Serpo or the Justice. You know, it's kind of right in between those skis in terms of width. And this definitely has more playfulness to it. You can ski it switch just fine. You can take it into the park and, and it's gonna be reasonably appropriate. You know, obviously a true center mounted, more symmetrical ski is gonna outperform it in the park. But this certainly kind of lets you, lets you dabble in terrain park skiing, which is something that we hear about a lot. You know, it's very, very common that somebody reaches out to us and says, I like skiing groomers, I like skiing trees, I like skiing moguls, I like getting off trail whenever I can. I also would like to learn 180s, learn 360s, or at least play around with that stuff, maybe even slide some rails. I think that's a 100% perfect way to think about this ski. Um, 97 underfoot, so you really are getting just a tremendous amount of versatility. It's not the quickest ski edge to edge, it doesn't have the strongest torsional stiffness, but it can carve. Um, and then you take it into the trees and you get enough float for soft snow. You get the agility from that rocker profile and the fact that it's not too heavy or too stiff. Uh, and then you have the playful, the park side of it too. So, you know, carve some turns on a groomer's, on a groomer, hop into the trees for a moment. Maybe when you're on your way out of the trees, there's a little natural hit and you pop a little 180, ski some switch turns, hop back around to forward, go in the terrain park at the bottom of the mountain. 
If that sounds like what you like to do when you're going skiing, chances are you're really, really gonna like the Black Crows Camex. So that's it. Let us know if you have any questions about it as usual, and we'll see you out there on the hill.